Welcome back. This is the Not Gonna Lie podcast, episode 63. Because the technician doesn't want to re the record episode 62, which would be in French first. So we're going to go in English right away to 63. Good episode. <laughs> be 20 seconds about all right so today's podcast is brought to you by drunk instead of high Ugh. that shot of gin you know that good old straight up gin shot gotta love it So we're at episode 63, people. Probably the sixth English podcast. We're getting there. I'm drunk as shit right now. Oh my god, I'm drunk as shit because I oh so many uh, adventures happen tonight, which leads to this recording. So let's backtrack a little bit. Let me t uh, let me tell you first. Oh my god, this episode is gonna be all over the fucking place. We're like uh, uh, a minute and a half in. I don't even know what I want to talk about anymore. Good shit. <laughs> all right. So um. So today the plan was to record a bunch of podcasts because I'm going back to Montreal in a couple days and then I'm going to have to live back at my parents like a fucking loser and no studio place to record a podcast. So we're recording multiple podcasts back to back to keep feeding you all that good shit. You know? Now 11 people who are watching this. Yes, sir! So if I'm talking about outdated stuff when you watch this shit, well, it's because it happened in the past. Okay? Get over it. <sighs> yes! So today, so the reason why I'm drunk right now is because, as I've told you before, now... The bad Bazzy, you know, classic bachelor guy is now in a relationship. Sorry, girls. It's over now. Hey, out of the market. But because I don't know nobody from this fucking city, I'm bored of shit all the time. Like, I literally know zero people. And like I said in the last podcast, I feel like a puppy dog. As in, when my girlfriend leaves the apartment, I'm left all alone doing nothing for hours on end. And it sucks, cause I'm not a dog. So, today, she had the great fucking idea That maybe I should download Grinder, you know, the gay app. And at first, I thought it was a little, uh, it was like kind of like a iffy idea, you know. I I didn't know if I could handle that kind of like uh, that kind of gayness onto my life. But then, when she left to go to work, and all the messages started. Just popping up, you know? I realized quickly that it was the best idea 
I've ever had. Through her. It was her idea, but because I did, it's kind of like my idea, you know? What is her is mine, and like, I'll fucking abuse that shit, you know? So today, as a street man, I wait, I went on my first gay date. And it was actually the best date of my life. Man, guys are better than girls. Let's be honest. Okay? So here I <laughs> here's how it went. I downloaded Grinder at about th what? 4 30 p.m. By 5 30 p.m. I had received 50 pictures of buttholes. <laughs> yes, actually. And it felt great. <laughs> Never ever. Okay, listen, I've been alive. I've been alive for a fucking while, right? 29 years in the making, okay? 30 minutes into this experiment, I had been asked more dick pics than I had been asked in the last 29 years of my life. It was great. The whole city came to greet me. Everyone wanted, everyone wanted to be my friend, you know? Man, grind. Okay, okay. Let me get. Uh, okay, I'm. Uh, there's a bunch of stuff I want to say about this. So first off, I want to apologize to all the girl to whom I've put any pressure into sexual relationships with me over social. Uh, uh, I mean, dating apps. You know, cause. Because when random men started asking me to send them pictures of, you know, myself and my body parts, I felt violated. I did. I didn't like it one bit. I clearly stated in my profile that I was straight and I was just looking for friends. But these dirty men didn't give a fuck. They were just, they were out for that booty, you know? <laughs> and it's like, <laughs> it felt like as a, as a man, as a straight man who was used to like the, the Tinder pace, you know, of kind of like, me having to make the first move and me trying to talk girls into like going on to dates with me and all that shit. It, it kind of like it flipped on me, you know, like I wasn't ready for that shit. I kind of saw the world from a whole different angle tonight. It was crazy. Like, like, like I was, okay. You know me, you know your boy, you know? He's a he's a prankster trying to play along with all that shit. But sometimes I couldn't hang on. Man, I swear, I sent Okay, so this one dude, he was so insistent. He was like Oh, looking worst English in the fucking world, PS. Looking for dick, you know? <laughs> like the worst grammar in like ever in English. And then, you know, I'm trying to play along and just tell him that I'm here to make friends and shit. It was like, send me nude picture. And so because because I'm a funny guy, you know, I have nude pictures of me doing handstands and like hiding in my genitals and shit. The guy didn't understand it was a joke, you know? How can you be so disconnected from reality that some dude sends you a... Like, I was doing a handstand naked on one hand, and my junk was hidden. Like, like very badly drew. Write that down, because I've got the picture. 
very badly drew on my junk just to make it like Instagram uh, decent. This guy just went, oh, you got pussy? <laughs> and I'm not kidding. That's how he wrote it. You got, you, you, just the you, got pussy? You got pussy? And I said, yes. And like, he said, wait, what did he say? He said, he said, he said, send me picture of pussy. Like that works, you know? Have a guy ever written you? Send me picture of pussy. And you were like, oh, yes. I'll send you a picture of my pussy because so nicely asked, right? Has that ever happened to you? They've asked, oh, they've asked like that? I get the brand that well, they're always like some rich boy name, but how like such and such can print me and ask to be your girl. And then that's the best that that's been. I know, disappointed me. I would love to see somebody with love in their side. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> so today, uh, oh, that was the best too. It's like, okay, so I didn't think I was going to talk about this for so long. But so. So I got a date with a guy, you know, <laughs> and I I told him I was straight up with him. I told him that I was going to like that. I was a straight guy and I, I was just looking to make friends and I was catfish. I, I told him straight up that I was catfishing gay men into taking me on to dates to meet new people. And he was being so bro like like he was talking to me like like we were friends, you know, and shit like uh, I was starting to trust that guy. So he, g- <laughs> so we he gave me a date. We were supposed to meet at fucking National Bar on whatever the fuck street and other street, you know, Avenue and Street or whatever the fuck Calgary Grid and shit, tenth or fourteenth. I guess there's multiple of them. And so I agreed. At 5.30 p.m. To go on a date. With a gay guy. And then I waited. And waited. And waited. For. Hours. For this. Asshole. To message me again. To give me. A fucking time to be at the bar. I was excited for my first gay date. You know. And shit. And like at 8 p.m. he messages me like an asshole. Well, I fell asleep on the couch. I don't feel like going on a patio on a patio tonight. So why don't we just meet at my place for Netflix and beers? <laughs> and you know what? When I spot a trap. I know it's one. I've said so many of them before. So you know what? I reverse psychology the shit out of that guy. You know? Because I know what would work on me. So I knew what would work on him. Right? (laughs) I had... Okay, so I told him... (laughs) I told him, oh, my God, I feel like such a whore for (laughs) saying that shit. Obviously, I didn't give a fuck that this guy didn't want to have a date with me. Because you know what? Apparently, I'm straight. But I could tell that this motherfucker was trying to stood me, stand me up. So I told him, hey, man, don't worry. It's all good. I'll go by myself. And I know it killed him inside. Like, I I told the guy, actually, I don't need you. You're not my friend. Fuck off. I'll go on my own. And you know what? To stab him even further because I'm that kind of guy. I told him, hey, man, 
I don't know if this is better or worse for you, but I got a filler for you, so we're all good. By the time I went from being on a date alone, like like I walked to this fucking bar on my own, knowing that I would be alone because this fucking guy slept on the couch. Nam I'm saying? Well, this other dude from Grindr, you know, same application, hit me up and he was like, oh yeah, I'll take his place. I don't give a fuck. I'll show up to the bar. And he showed up. So I had my first gay date without this motherfucker. Found another guy. And this name, this guy's name was Ken. He was Asian, so obviously not his real name. But you know what? Best date of my life. Guys are so much better than girls at dating. Holy fucking shit. I just told Alexa I'd keep Grindr forever. I'm gonna, uh, uh, this is just how I'm gonna roll from now on. Whenever she's going to decide that, you know, she needs to be an adult and shit and she's going to work. Well, you know what? I'm going to go out on dates with guys and they're going to love the fuck out of me, you know? And now I'm starting to understand the whole OnlyFan crate, like the whole the whole thing, you know? Man, getting attention is the shit. I could, listen, I'm going to look at my cell phone right now. I've been talking about this shit for way too long now. This looks like I'm... Yeah, four grinder notifications. You know how it is. Yeah, <laughs> it's twelve, twelve. Uh, it's uh, min uh, fifteen past midnight right now, and these guys are on the hunt. So anyway, I keep you guys. I'll keep you guys posted on this whole uh, grinder situation later. But for now on, uh, like f at this point, Ken is my number one guy. He said he would take me, take me on his boat sailing and shit with his polyamorous boyfriend. Well, do you have a fucking sailboat? Yeah, there it is. So the so the men win again. Oh, okay. Oh wait, I need a fucking drink for this. All right, so you know how it is for men to. <clears throat> There's kind of like this whole pressure about you know. Being assertive, you know, and being, like, confident in yourself and shit. I don't know what it is about testosterone or whatever the fuck. But it feels like the whole the whole world is, expects you as a man to fucking... Just be confident in yourself, you know? And so today, as a fucking puppy dog, after my wonderful fucking first gay date, I felt like <laughs> I felt I felt like it was gonna be cool to you know after my gay date go pick up my straight girlfriend at her fucking <clears throat> restaurant. But I've been in this city for not even a week. I don't even know how these streets works, you know, uh, 10th Avenue or 8th Avenue or fucking whatever the fuck, you know, those are so fucking confusing, so like, I'm walking in these streets, you know, okay, I'm gonna go walk to her fucking work and pick her up like a fucking gentleman, halfway there, I'm lost as a motherfucker, you know, But then I started making all these fucked up ideas in my head. I was like, man, what if I'm, what if I'm actually lost, you know? <laughs> what if, because, okay, so I messaged her. I was like, okay, so with a bunch of dots, you know? And she answered me with, so what? And she knew, how did you know right away that I was lost, though? 
<laughs> I messaged her. Okay, okay, so... And she was like, so you're lost. Yes, I was. So this, so this Asian dude, oh, still talking about my gay date. Uh, so gay. So this gay dude took me out. By the way, I paid for his fucking beers, right? So he got a beer, and then and I asked for the bill, and the chick brought the bill, and it was only one bill, and I paid for it because I'm a gentleman, right? And he's gonna take me, uh, us probably. Hope so. Kind of gotta have to. I'm gonna have to sneak you. <laughs> <laughs> into there as my dyke friend or whatever the fuck. <laughs> hey, Ken, you my boy, right? I gave you my YouTube channel. You're going to listen to this shit or whatever the fuck. Now you know the whole truth. So bring me on your boat still because we're friends now. Right? What was I saying anyway? Oh, yeah. So I was lost and whatever the fuck. Like... She found me in two seconds, and my life was okay after that. Let's move on. What did I want to talk about next? We're 21 minutes in! I spent 20 minutes about talking about a gay guy! Ooh, I think I'm gay! Woo! <laughs> oh, okay, I talked about this already. Oh, yes, okay, so... This is so weird now because I'm going to talk about this in front of you and then it's going to sound weird. But so today, today I was watching some YouTube videos. <clears throat> Can you plug your ears for like uh, nine minutes or so? <laughs> exactly. Plug your ears and don't listen to this <laughs> So today I was listening to uh, the classic videos that I always listen to. So Abba and Preach, my boys. Yeah. <coughs> and they were talking about the concept of like, oh, this is oh, so weird because you're here. But the concept of settling, set settling, right? That's exactly not what I'm going to talk about, right? That's exactly why I was asking you to plug your ears. Good shit, right? So the concept of settling. Oh, oh no, I have a whole French podcast to record tomorrow with the bat. With the bad backlighting and shit because it's going to be during the day and the whole shit. But whatever. Settling. Okay? So today... Ugh. Why are you here? Okay. So the concept of settling where, like, I feel like in today's world... Settling feels like when you tell someone you've settled, it's like you're telling them you've given up, right? Like when you're telling your friend, oh, you're settling down. Like as a, as a guy, I can tell that if I tell one of my other guy friend, oh, you're settling down, he's going to take it as like you're Giving up on, like, whatever, like, wild ride life could be or whatever. But today, like, as I was walking these unknown streets, I kind of know these streets, but, like, crossing path with people that... I don't know, right? And it's like this whole new setting feels so new to me. But <clears throat> I 
it kind of felt like to me, oh my god, this is like the most unfunny shit to talk about. So like, hey, comedian shit and stuff, log off if that if that's what you're all about. But like <clears throat> today, as as I was walking by like a bunch of people and trying to find a bar to hang out with and like s seeing everything, I was like. I was thinking, man, so many people look good, you know, like looking good. I don't know if, it, if this is like a 2021 thing or like if everyone figured out how to be the best fucking self they can be or whatever the fuck. But like I could, I could, I was walking by people and just people watching and shit. And I was seeing good looking girls and I was like, oh, this girl looks good and shit. But it kind of felt like what are the odds that this good looking girl Is gonna fucking hit home as much, you know? <clears throat> and do you. <laughs> so weird, cause you hear. But like, do you want to actually take that chance, you know? Like, when you're just fucking analyzing your fucking life, you know? You're like, okay, like, if I ever move to this place and, like, this is going to be my life, of course, of course there's going to be hot people. And, of course, there's going to be missed opportunities. And, of course, your whole life you're going to think, what if? Right? But then. And again. So weird because you hear. But. What if. This is the next best fucking thing. You know? Like. You can never know. And this feels like some old man fucking rambling or whatever the fuck. But when you think you've got it, right? Like, There's still going to be a hundred million other opportunities, right? Because there's always going to be. This is life. But is it really going to be better than this? Fuck, man. I was walking the fucking street thinking, oh, man, this shit is hot. But is it going to get better than this? So I kind of feel like the whole fucking concept of uh, so weird because you're here and listening and staring at me right now, you know, but the whole concept of settling, right? Like you like the the second I said the word settling, how mad were you? Right? You're like, oh, well, uh, if you're going to say that you're settling right now, well, go fuck yourself, right? But, like, I don't know. I feel like this is a good time to switch topics right now. Yes, sir. We're also at 20. I, we're also at 30 minutes. We're right there. We're finishing the show. 
And I feel like if I would have went deeper in in this direction, I might have fucked myself over real good. So we're going to keep it there. <laughs> So we're going to finish on this uh, this little uh, life advice. And this one is not even from me. So we're going to try to hit home with other people. Mostly girls who are away from home. Right? So I'm going to try to... Uh, I know. It's <laughs> so weird to talk like if anyone's listening to this. But if someone is listen listening to this... <clears throat> if I was your, your father, you know, I tell you that baby girl, if you don't know his middle name, it's probably be best that you don't fuck him, you know? If you don't know his middle name, don't put his dick in your mouth. Right? So, if you're close to doing that thing anyway, just ask for his middle name and you'll feel better about yourself. Right? Because apparently, from some expert's opinion, right? Sucking dick without knowing the middle name is not a good thing. What? I don't have a middle name? I feel like middle names are very English, uh, English things. What's a middle name? Like Andrew? I feel like my middle name. Oh, we're getting so off topic right there. But like, like a, like a, like a baptism name. Is that the same thing as a middle name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like mine is Julian. Yeah. Why do you have to be it's uh well, it's cuz my name uh cuz I've never been baptized. So it, uh, so it doesn't show anywhere on the official stuff. But if I was to be baptized, it would have been Julian Ali Laplante Bazi. My name. Julian. Would you call me Julian? <laughs> What's your middle name? Gray? No, I don't know. You, how would I know? You make it sound like I should. Lane? Lane's not a middle name. Lane. Lane! No. L-A-N-E. Built from? Neil. Yeah. And? So N E A L Neil. That doesn't spell lane. Oh, so it's Neil and then it's an acronym of Neil. <laughs> lane. Hey, you're trying too hard. What's your name? Neil? Who's Neil? Okay. Well, so from now on, my girlfriend's name is Neil. I'll call her Neil from now on because that's part of her name. So she can go fuck herself. So this was today's episode of the Not Gonna Lie podcast. Thanks for listening. 
I'm drunk. This is probably not the best one. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll probably start posting these. Since they've been occurring so much lately, I'll probably start posting them. They're going to be uh, available on Spotify and uh, Apple Podcasts. Because I'm too lazy to do it on other platforms. But I feel like now that we're close to 10 episodes, I feel like maybe we should start this shit up. So, um, whatever. If you'd like to spend your time listening to me babbling some bullshit, just uh, like, comment, and subscribe. Do all the good YouTube shit and whatever the fuck. And I'll see you next week. Thank you very much. And peace.